Right, here we are. End of the series with the World Cup final, Uruguay. Let's get pretty much straight into it. What we're going to do is we're going to look at Uruguay first. Let's see. Obviously, we beat them. I think we actually beat them in the op. <clears throat> I think we actually beat them, sorry, in the opening game. Now, they beat Uzbekistan first, then we absolutely hammered them 3-0. Pellegri getting two and Sakamandi. Let's just go into the game and have a look, a quick look at the stats. 26 shots to fall, so we absolutely dominated from start to finish, which is pleasing. But if them have beaten England, an impressive result against England, winning on penalties, Jaden Sancho missing, have them beaten... Argentina on penalties, beating Nigeria. They're not blessed by the looks of it with a lot of goals. They've only scored one in the last two games. That One of their biggest players, Betanco Terreira, Franco Silva. He must be a regen, he is. Very good regen. Jimenez, defender, he's now 31. Obviously very good, but struggling physically. Pelegui might have the, the better of him there. I've got a decision to make. What I do up top. I'm debating whether to go. Because I like a risk. Let's just have a look at the squad. Zanolo's on 91. Pinamonti's on 88. Regani 84. Aye, aye, aye. Right. Regani struggled all the way through. So we're going to go Caldara. He'll be fine. Barella in there with Melagoni. That's fine. I'm going to put Pinamonte up front with Pellegri uh, I'm going to put Moise Keane on the left hand side <clears throat> so that's leaving him out um, leaving Catron out but at the same time he can come as a sub depending on how well Pinamonte does he's on 88% fit I'm happy with that, look at the stats for him if he can do a really good 60 minutes that'll be good enough for me Everyone else picks itself. Nice to have Barella back. Melagoni we'll have to look at. But obviously we've got plenty of options on the bench. Emerson's back in. Uh, Zanolo can do a job off the bench. Uh, Pellegrini, the centre midfielder, can do a job off the bench. So I'm completely happy with that. A couple of things I want to change because I haven't changed it at all all the way through. His throw-ins is to make sure that on the left-hand side... It's Pellegri and Emerson, no one else. Because we've had centre-halves taking throws, which is really annoying. For FM20, it'd be nice if you could just put right-back, left-back, substitute right-back, you know what I mean? And just do it as position. So whoever, whoever comes onto that position is, is taking that responsibility of taking a corner, taking a free kick, marking at corners, etc., etc. It'd make it a little lot better because you always want your full-backs taking throws. But at the moment, I've had my centre-halves coming out of position. I think we've been punished once by it. And I don't want it to be today. Right, it will come on at right back. It's Lazari, isn't it? So that should cover us there. Everything else, in <laughs> Insigne, we'll just leave that. Never been that bothered about corner takers. They're all, there's enough of them there that are pretty decent. Right, <clears throat> let's go. Surely it's nothing but a victory. Now, we've already won the Nations League as well. I'll tell you what we are going to do. We are going to look at my profile. So we're nearly on four stars now. That's before the World Cup final. Let's go on to Hall of Fame. I'm on 206 points because obviously even I've had a good career. Domestic Divisions 3, that's the D, C and B. Uh, and then one Domestic Cup, which would be, what would that be? I imagine it'll be the other oh, Cup, <laughs> the Serie D Cup. And then obviously you're here for Nation, Nations League. So 206 points. We'll see how many we get, hopefully, if we can win the World Cup. Have we done a team talk? No, we haven't. You deserve to win the trophy and I expect you to do it. No greens. No greens, but that's fine. No reds. Right, here we go. We're in the white. They're going with a very defensive... They're playing with two sitters. It's Rara and Betancourt, so they're going to be quite hard to break down. The referee, by the way, is from the British Virgin Islands. Rodney Lennon or something. Have we got a penalty? 
He's off to review the footage. Is it one of these ones where it's outside the box? Not too sure. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm sat on, sat on the bench, hands on my knees. I'm not sure if he's doing one of those free kick ones or he's wanting a penalty. Here we go. Penalty. We've been given a penalty. Right, I haven't done my set pieces. Who's taking it? Pinamonte. Here he goes. 1-0. 22 minutes on the clock. We are 1-0 up in the World Cup final. Where's it been played by? I don't know where it's been played. East Rutherford, because we are in America. I forgot to say, we are back, back in America. New Jersey, though. Not Pasadena. Here we go, Melagoni. Romagnoli's there. Boys, Keane's there. That might be offside. I think it's offside. Yeah. He was offside. <clears throat> They've got Torreira with a little bit of a knock. Right, coming up to half time. It's been a quiet first half. Melagoni, but we've got our noses in front. They've offered nothing yet. Was that a Rabona? Melagoni. Calabria. Melagoni. Barella, he likes a hit. He's found Pellegri and the goalkeeper has spooned it. And we are 2 0 up. We are cruising, absolutely cruising, towards this World Cup trophy. Right, they're going to get a highlight. Have they created anything yet? They've had one shot off target. That's all they've had. <clears throat> Kiers has done a lovely tackle. Calabria, can we build? He's gone long, which we are good at. Pinamonti's in. He's got nothing around him. That's a good tackle. What? Oh, it's going back. Rodney. He's going to VR again. He's had a bit of a nightmare here, this boy. Didn't look like a red card. It looked like a very good, strong tackle. Free kick. Wasn't even a free kick, but never mind. He was taking it. Barella, he's good from free kicks. Oh, I thought that was in. He whipped it round the wall. Right, half time. They've had one shot from distance. We are absolutely in cruise control. I'm going to say pleased. I don't like the complacent one sometimes. Pleasing them at half time doesn't necessarily come back to bite you in the ass. I don't think it's going to do that today either. Right, Melagoni's struggling, so let's get let's get Pellegrini on. He can do that, no problem. Right, Pellegrini's going to pick up the ball. Oh, God, that. He fizzed it back a little bit. A little bit of a worry. Romagnoli. Pellegrini. He's clipped it over the top. Pinamonti's in. Is he going to square it? He's gone himself. He maybe should have squared it to, Pe uh, to Pellegrini. Right, let's hold. Let's get... I'm not going to put Catron on. I'm going to put Paul Columbani on. The big man. We're coming into the last 10 minutes. We're just going to knock it onto Cautious. We don't want them to get a, a little bit of a lifeline. Barella. Pellegrini. Off the bar. And it's just gone out for a corner. I don't know how it stayed out. Pellegrini corner. Keaton's there. It's headed out. And highlight over. Coming into easy the last five minutes. We're coming into the pretty much up to stoppage time now. It's going to take a miracle for Uruguay to turn this round. We are there. Barella to Keen. There it is. We have finished the series with a World Cup trophy. Get in. FM19 has been pretty pretty awesome for me on the channel in terms of how it's grown. The Manchester United series has been really popping. It's gone all the way through from beta to end of, end of the FM19 cycle. And then this one, even though we took a bit of a, a tangent and off and came back to a Baggio story, the idea was at the very start that I wanted to win the World Cup with Italy and I've managed to do it it feels pretty good when I managed to get a little story a little narrative in my head that I had with my plans for FM19 and it's all nicely sewn up 
So, we've only moved up to number two, but I think we started in seventh, so we've done pretty well there. Italy lift the World Cup. Baba Gargano blows his top. Italy fans worship Baggio, which they should do. 25 to 1 we were at the start. We've been given a solid four. Nothing more than that. Let's have a little look. Hall of Fame. 200 points. Is that it? 200 points for winning World Cup. Bloody hell. Never mind. It was never going to be telling, but I thought they would have done that. They would have, we would have won more. I actually forgot about him. Did I ever look him for the World Cup squad? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, I completely forgot about Plazari. Never really had to bother with the goalkeepers because we had Donnarumma who obviously played every single game. Let's just have a little look at Pellegrini 9 goals, leading goal score, average rating of 8.56, which you can't just see. Assists, Chiesa is down in third, but he's level on Gaia. Someone for Nigeria and Chiesa have all got four. Our first win for 20 years. We are holders. Redemption for Baggio. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for following this series. It hasn't been the most popular in terms of views because obviously I started off at Caldonia in Serie D, but it's something that, I, something that I wanted to do and it has ended perfectly. If you've enjoyed not just today, the series, please drop a like in there. Put a little comment in to, say that, to, say, to let me know that you've enjoyed it. And if you are new and you've just come because you've clicked on a World Cup video, get subscribed for FM. 20. If you do like your Italian football, I have a Fiorentina Let's Play starting when FM20 drops. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in FM. No, we'll see you tomorrow, last FM19 video, 7 a.m. Bye bye.